Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur. Today we are going to be talking about the space section of the Genesis Part 2 map. Uh, this is going to talk about what happens, when it happens, how it happens, and what to expect. So in the space, on average, you're going to always have metal. Metal will always be out here on the asteroids. The mobs will always be out here, and that's fine too. But the difference is going to be the secondary resource that comes out. Currently, you can see I'm sitting on obsidian, uh, but what you can do is is you can actually change it to uh, every night at midnight. It's going to flip and change to the next uh, option, and it flies for about an hour and a half in hyperspace. So what I'm going to quickly do is jump us up to 1230. Uh, it's going to push us to pretty late in the day, uh, and then we're going to go ahead and speed up time just to get the hyperspace to run, and you're going to see it pop through, and then it's going to run for, till 1.30 uh, in the morning. So there's the hyperspace. We are now changing what our interior structure is going to be for the rocks, and then once the rocks reappear, we're going to have a new secondary resource on here, and we'll take a look at what those are, uh, and you can see what each one is, and I'm going to take you through each one. So this is Chris we just got uh, this is the crystal one it's random uh, it does not guarantee one or the other and you either way but you can see your secondary resource out here is crystal uh, and you can tell pretty simply what it is and normally you can tell by the rocks that are in there so let's go ahead and jump to the next one that we can get this video is brought to you by the be my friend shirt where you just need a trank dart and you got yourself a new friend so go ahead grab your trank darts and grab yourself a brand new shirt for the be my friend shirt Back to the video. Okay, so we have now gotten our new one. This is the Ambergris Mutagel one. Uh, it looks very plain on the rocks, but what you're looking for is your secondary resource are these little guys right here. You walk up to them. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my uh, tab for this really quick. Hit one of the rocks with a pick and you're gonna get 27 Ambergris and six stone and five Mutagel. Now I've got on single player, so my stats are a little bit weirded out. Uh, so. That's what you're going to have, but this is the second one. So you've got four overall that are going to occur. You have Obsidian, Crystal, Ambergris, and Mutagel, and Oil are going to be the four. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one so you can see that one also. So I want to make a note. Uh, I actually lied to myself. It is not four. I had not seen this one before. Uh, this is the element one. No joke. This is what it's going to look like. I will show you. This is the element shard one, you walk up to these crystals and look at this. Just free element all day. Look at all this element. Oh my goodness. Is space amazing? Space is where you're going to get everything you need. I can't jump anymore, so I'm just going to dump a bunch of stuff out of here. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff in my inventory. But that is going to be the element one. I did not know this one existed. We now know it exists. So we're going to hold ahead, roll the next one, and see what it looks like. All right, so we're back for another one. Uh, this is the ball one. Uh, there's a way more than I thought there was, uh, but this is the little ball and orb one. Uh, you go ahead and you run over to one of these little balls in the garden. You hit E on it, and you get a mutagen and black pearls. So this is the black pearl uh, atmosphere you're going to get. So let's go ahead and jump to the next one. All right, so we have another uh, zone here that we have access to. Uh, this is the element dust one. So you walk up to these shiny little piles, you click E on it, and you get yourself a pile of element dust. Really simple, really easy, but it's a way to get your elements super easy out here in space. All right, so we have another zone here. Uh, this is the sulfur zone. So basically, you come out here, you walk up to one of these little rocks, boom, you hit it really quick, and you get some sulfur and some stone. Uh, you get your metal like it's standard is. So that's what we have for the sulfur zone. Let's roll another one. Uh, so here we have the oil zone. Uh, the oil zone of rocks look like they're covered in oil. All you're going to do is run down to one of these platforms. You find these little tiny black rocks on them and you hit them and you get yourself some oil. So that's the oil zone that we now have. So I learned something trying to find the obsidian one again. Uh, this is going to be added on the very end of this video uh, is that the look of it doesn't tell you what it's actually going to be. It changes from one to one. So this should have been our black pearl uh, and all that kind of fun stuff. But it's our obsidian here. Uh, so you can see I'm getting obsidian off of this right there. Uh, so there don't look at what it is and what the, the ships look like uh, look at what is actually on the rocks as your secondary item because as i said this was the uh black pearl and mutagel 
on it the first time and now it is obsidian. So just make sure you check those rocks every time that the space changes. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this one more time. What happens? There are numerous options that can come out of space. That is where you're gonna get your ambergris. That is where you're gonna get your mutagel. That is where you're gonna get most of your obsidian, most of your metal. Metal is always there though. That's where you can get black pearls, element, element shards, element dust, sulfur, and oil. And this changes every night when the day changes over. So at zero, it will change over until 1.30. At 1.30, the ship will stop hyperspace, and then you can go out there and start farming it. Until then, it's empty. So with that note, if you wanted to tame something really quick or try to knock it out, um, I would suggest not doing it between uh, 0 and 1.30 in the morning for the game because that means you will uh, end up probably being uh, possibly having a dino team to warp in uh, to one of these rocks. Uh, I've been noticing as I've been teleporting through this one of these rocks, uh, the dinos will go inside the rocks and be stuck in the rocks. So you could be taming it. So if you're going to tame something, make sure you do it after 1.30 uh, in the morning and don't do it too close to teleport time. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope this video really breaks out all of that awesome uh all, all that awesome space information uh, if you have any more questions leave them down in the comments down below if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe uh we're doing tons of tutorials over genesis 2 uh and of course always i hope you all have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of lemur's corner